Hey, hi there, Virgo. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your timeless reading. It applies to when you are drawn to watch it. Cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. These are general meanings. Okay, Virgo. Off-camera, I've performed a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the basis and the issue of the matter. Seven of Wands, Virgo. Fire energy. This is someone's Mars and Leo. This represents the lion heart. You're fighting for what matters, and you're protecting and defending what's yours. It's success against opposition and victory through courage. It's reaching a new level, and you do have the position of advantage. There's certain success in competition in business or trade. It's the completion of a phase with deep purpose and valor. You may be facing tests, but you'll have very victory. You feel like you're on top and you want to stay that way. This is courage in difficult situations, and you'll beat down all problems. It's excitement of conflict. And on the intellectual plane, it signifies discussion, wordy strife, at business negotiations, the war of trade and barter and competition, defending what matters. And you're now ready to face challenges, and you will stand your ground and fight for what you believe in, and your determination will overcome all obstacles. But this is a warning against unnecessary blockages. Do not be a victim. This is stiff competition in business, and this is a chance to prove yourself. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path, your subconscious influences. This is you, Virgo, the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. This is someone that's mature. They're materially secure. They can be a benefactor. They can be an investor or a boss or a mature person that likes to profit from others. They're uh, slow-moving, yet they're dependable, and they're solid, and they're kind to others. This is a materially oriented way with a lot of ambition. Could be you or someone around you aspires to great wealth. A man who loves money and riches, and they're happy to collect as much as possible. They're very clever in business matters, like a financial wizard. They have complete mastery over the land and over the animals, and they are generous with what they have, and they share gladly. There is a lesson to be content with what you have, and to express your needs and undertake what is necessary for their fulfillment. Something tangible is completing. It's fulfillment of desires and the power to manifest. This hard work and patience and good instincts and that occasional stubbornness have paid off well. The Seven of Wands with the King of Pentacles represents protecting your business. The third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're aware of. Number zero of the Major Arcana in the Rider Weight deck, the Fool. This card is ruled by Uranus. This could be an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is the first of the Major Arcana cards of the 22 cards that show hidden meanings. This is a new path. Someone seeking the truth with innocence and lightness and trust. A choice is offered. You could be traveling. This is an entrance, a new beginning. It's trusting life and taking that blind leap of faith, taking a risk, absolute faith in the universe. The fool gives us courage to continue and prods us to seek new experiences. And if you follow your instincts, you'll be provided with guidance. This is being on the edge of a very important new beginning and trusting where the universe is taking you. It's an embarking on a fresh way of life, a physical journey, moving, starting a new job, or getting married or divorced. But it's that first step, despite some fear. And this is a sign, a green light, to step into the unknown. There's infinite potential here. Seven of Wands with the Fool card, this is finding the right reason for a new beginning. Someone could be lecturing. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the results. 
the outcome and the resolution. And being in the future position, this can be a surprise. The Page of Wands, Virgo, more fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, in your chart or someone else's. Now this can be a message. It can be helpful information. It brings passion and eagerness. It could be an invitation. It could be a young person. This can be a proclamation or a declaration, an announcement, even an initiation. It could be a message of importance to your current project or situation. It usually affects work, although it can be of a social nature, and this information is positive. Now the Page of Wands is standing at the threshold of a newly inspired direction, and we always feel this page's influence when we're drawn to something that can accelerate our personal growth and enable us to be and express more of who we are. This is the fool's little brother, someone that's daring and full of passion. This can be an aspect of personality, just beginning to develop. Could be a... Uh, symbolizing an event. It usually is the beginning of something new and underdeveloped. Yep. Um, this can be a young person that has a quick, intuitive, enthusiastic personality, and his daring and energy associates him with the sign of Aries. Seven of Wands with the Page of Wands. This can be too much passionate fire. It can cause you to burn out too quickly. You may have a lot of work to do, but you're not finishing it, probably due to lack of focus. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen because it's not something that you're sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. Number 15 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Devil. This can be a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, along with the King of Pentacles there, this does represent a Capricorn. It's a person. Otherwise, it's the energy of temptation and bondage and limitations. Could be chained by wrong choices. Bondage to the material. Sensation divorced from understanding. Someone could be chained by greed and will need to face up to their demons. This is a challenge of oppression and of illusion. Could be an oppressive situation that's controlling the situation or a person. Illusions of helplessness come in then. This often represents a sexual relationship that has become obsessive or destructive, and it can refer to a person with someone with power over another, or overdoing something way too much, a pleasure-seeking couple. Overdoing anything that causes you to experience the rest of your life and go forward, um, anything you overdo too much is absolutely tempting you. This could be feeling ashamed or jealous or being codependent. This could be a self-destructive behavior. You could be shackled by ignorance. Or enslaved to addiction or the need for approval or the need for controlling others. It's serving what enslaves you. You'll need to place boundaries against users and takers. Seven of Wands with the Devil card. This can represent stubborn aggressiveness. Maybe fighting a battle for control, or or um, maybe there's another manipulative person could be having to stand up against temptation. King of Pentacles with the Fool card represents a new business opportunity, and your cavalier attitude protects, protects you from stress and damage. The King of Pentacles with the Page of Wands, this can be a communication that you've been waiting for a long time, and now it comes in and it gets you excited. Could be a young person partnered up with an experienced older man. King of Pentacles with the devil, this can be that Capricorn person. Or just being financially secure and stable, but being tempted to rash decisions over money. Maybe being led into temptation, but you do have the strength to overcome problems. The fool with the page of wands, this is taking steps to create what you want. This is the Magician's Apprentice combination. This is the skill to initiate new creative projects. The Fool with the Devil card. This is anger from ignorance and stubbornness. Page of Wands with the Devil. This can be surrendering to pleasure until you become 
subservient to it. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Numerology by Michelle Buchanan. Virgo, you've got card number 41, representing self-discipline. Card number 41. This card indicates a need for self-discipline, motivation, and action to improve your quality of life. By drawing this card, you are being reminded that you need to meet the universe halfway because your dreams won't manifest by themselves. This is a time to clarify your goals and to plan and prioritize your ideas and actions. Then take the mental and emotional and physical action needed to make your dreams come true. You are being encouraged to rein in any thoughts and emotions that are contrary to what you're trying to attract. Rather than letting your doubts and worries consume you, you must have the strength and the willpower to focus predominantly on your dreams. You can attain those goals with a strong, disciplined mind when you surrender the outcome to the divine. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are encouraging you to be motivated and strong. This is where you need to play your part. The universe will provide the opportunities, but you need to see them through. There is an affirmation to this card, and it is, With self-discipline and action, I make my dreams come true. Thanks, you guys, Virgo. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.